And your sister gets some space. He's just stuck to her. Can she get a little space? No? No space? So let's just first talk about the quality of the camera. I had to get a new camera. This was just a fast purchase and the quality is so different. I literally have to get used to it. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this, but I just poured out my milk that I made this morning. I had to revert back to using the regular pump that comes with the Spectra S2 pump, the double electric pump that I have to plug in. I literally have been having struggles for the past week since my mom cozy wearable pump broke. When I told you guys it wasn't working anymore, it literally stopped working a day later, like completely. And I don't know what's going on. I didn't realize how much that pump has been helping me. Overall with pumping, like it literally is such a great pump. And I've tried so many different options for the Spectra. I even got this new, let me show you. I ordered these. They are the wearable pump parts for the Spectra because the dupe that I had before was literally cutting my nipple because the inner part wasn't like a full plastic part it was like a piece in the middle I don't know it, it was just terrible this is the one that is made for the spectra see I don't know how I feel about this camera I feel like it doesn't focus as fast as the other camera I'll get into the camera just now but yeah I am so frustrated y'all with my pumping right now I'm not pulling out all my milk and I'm not getting to pump as much. My supply is going down. The milk that I pumped this morning was only five ounces and I had to go on there for an hour using this. The first go around I used these and it's like these are not really pulling. And these are expensive. They're like $65 for these. They're made for it and they feel so much more comfortable. I got the 24 mm and that's my sizing, my phalange size. So I don't know what is going on. It's not pulling like it's supposed to. So I went back on these. These pull good. I used a little hack where you loop it through your nursing bra to hold it because Makai was like driving me crazy this morning. Like he did not want to lay down. He just wanted to be in his sister face. He's just throwing himself everywhere, flipping over. So I had to put it in to hold it because I had to keep getting up because I'm not wearing my wearable pumps. Once again, I realized how helpful the wearable pumps were in my life. Just for me running around, being able to make the milk, I need wearable pumps. <sighs> I bought this milk maker thing right here from Amazon. I started taking it yesterday. I drank one this morning already. You make it with milk and I like it cold. I haven't tried it hot. I just like to try a lot of different things, but the reviews on that from Amazon were, were great. The other pump that I have by Mom Cozy is this one here. I have it, like it's taken apart. It looks like this. I'll pop it on the screen. It looks something like this with the battery pack. I have it charging. I don't like it at all. It doesn't pull that great either. So I know this is all about the pull, it's about the latch. Y'all know I'm exclusively pumping. So it's very important that I have a great pull from my pump. Yeah, I'm so saddened. Like this is the most formula Makai ever had to take. I use my Breeza. He uses the Infamil Gentle Ease Neuro Pro, which is really good on the stomach and great for like brain health and stuff like that. Sorry for the shakiness. This is the most like breast um formula he has had because my breast, I'm mad y'all. I ain't gonna hold you. It's always something. So it's something. Lockheed is on his way back. I didn't get to go to church this morning because I went to sleep at two o'clock in the morning. And then as soon as I went to lay down, Lock um, Makai woke up. And I feel like I'm on the verge of tears, right? So I couldn't go to church like because I was so exhausted because I was up finagling with the damn pump that wouldn't work. There was like drops coming out, like half an ounce. And I've been making a lot of milk since Makai's been born. So it's like really pissing me off. Ugh. And then on top of that, my camera broke is not working at all not even a little bit this was a zv1 by sony and it's not a cheap camera it's been holding me down i love the quality it doesn't take really great photos but it's really good with like camera footage focusing and stuff so i had to get this you see how long it took to focus just now this one would have focused right away you see this one would have focused right away you see it take a little second to focus this one focuses fast this is the zv1f 
And I got it in white. It's a cute color. They have a black one too, but I'm like, let me switch it up. Don't paint the, the background on mine, it's a mess. But yeah, so this was like something that was available quick, fast for the price range I was looking for. It's about $500, so I just got it. This is like a little bit more of an investment. What's wrong with it is not covered by the warranty. So I'm gonna have to deal with this until I can switch it up again. So yeah, I, I'm not really like, I'm gonna have to play with this a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more to see, y'all. And I, I still need to do my hair. Since the last vlog, I have not washed my hair. I tried to wash it yesterday. It was just a madhouse. Like having two kids is not easy. And Makai is like super active, which I'm grateful for. <laughs> y'all, it's just, it's just a lot. And this camera, like, I'm grateful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for replacing my camera so fast. So I'm waiting for Lockheed to come back home because we need to go to Costco to re-up on um, Makai's. I keep calling Makai Lockheed. I mean, his middle name is Lockheed, but I don't know why I keep doing that. And then I keep calling Mila Summer, my sister Summer, and then Summer Mila. Am I getting old? <laughs> Because what am I doing? Yeah, I need to go to Costco to get some more baby formula because it finished so fast. I have been supplementing way more than normal because of the lack of the breast milk. But I'm going to fight this. Keep going because I don't want my milk to dry up. And then I have an appointment tomorrow. Today's Sunday, by the way, to see the gynecologist from one of my postnatal appointments. But I also have a complaint. Like if y'all remember when I prolapsed after like the whole severe constipation while pregnant and I had a huge scare that the baby was coming out and then the woman said she broke my water <sighs> but anyways i'm having like postpartum issues like every time i tmi every time i like try to do number two i'm having like a like a feeling like i want to prolapse but not prolapsing so i'm gonna ha I have a complaint i have a complaint this is womanhood motherhood this is for the mature like if you're watching me and you're being immature like why are you here but other than that postpartum wise i feel great so we're gonna see maybe that's something that will correct itself over time i don't want to bore y'all i wasn't even gonna vlog like i actually wanted to vlog since last Last week like y'all would have been had a vlog from me but well, my camera broke but we're here we're here so i need to go to costco i want to wash my hair i also want to redo mila's hair matter of fact there's a lot of things i want to do but i can't get it done because i have to like keep up with them they're in the room right now relaxing when kai is drinking his bottle of the breast milk he already drank for the morning but i finally got some breast milk out to make a bottle my kai his new thing is pushing up He's trying to sit up. I had to change his shirt because of course, there was slobber all over it. Hey, guy, guy. Hey. Yo, Lockheed just came back from church and we all got ready to go outside and I don't know what happened. I just told him I didn't want to go anymore. So him and Mila went and I just feel so sad. Like I, I feel like there, like I've just been praying about certain things, and I don't ever want to question God. I pray to Him all the time, and I feel like a broken record. Like I've just been praying about the same things over and over and over and over and over and over. I'm trying to keep the faith. I'm trying. Sometimes I break down, like right now, and I just feel like there's just so many things that are just not going my way. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for many things. I was about to go outside and I was just like, I, I don't feel like just dealing with the population right now. I don't feel like exerting energy. My energy is just so low because I feel like just over it. Okay. I'm sorry. Are you feeling my energy? I'm sorry, cut, cut. I feel like since I started this vlog, my energy has just not been where I want it to be. And I'm just so big on energy. All right. Okay, good okay. We go, good guy. Hi.
plans through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And all right, y'all, so I just finished blow drying my hair. I did take it back to old school with the <laughs> blow dryer and the piece on it. I actually like it like that. I need to start blow drying my hair like that, but I feel like I was also kind of like frying my hair too. At this point, I believe I am a straight natural. I don't like my natural hair when it's like curly because I have like 4B, 4C hair and it could be very unmanageable. And I feel like it just flourishes more when I have it like in a more stretched out state. Either way, um, I got to wash my hair. Mila, lower your voice. They're back. <laughs> Makai ended up going to sleep. He went down for a nap and I was able to pump, wash my hair, y'all. And by the end of the, me washing my hair, he woke up, but then they walked in. So it helped me out. Costco's is a bad idea on Sunday. So he just picked up the formula at Target. And then he also stopped in a beauty supply store to get me some braiding hair to once again, attempt something on Mila's hair. But I can't braid her hair tonight because it's too late and she has school in the morning. He also met one of my subscribers there. He was on FaceTime with me. Hey girl, if you're watching, thanks for supporting your girl. Yeah, so I got to wash my hair. I feel so much more relaxed, so good. But I feel like also what's making my supply go back to besides the pump, is the stress i'm under like a lot of stress i'm gonna pump i'm gonna go on the mom cozy pump me washing my hair was so therapeutic and relaxing and i had like 10 minutes to myself without any worries and i just felt so good and relaxed so i'm gonna go on the mom cozy wearable pump because i also have to make a quick dinner that's what i'm gonna do but i feel so good y'all i don't know what i'm gonna actually do with my hair and maybe i'll just like do some twists i don't know plate it looks so good oh my goodness i can't wait to dive into this i just made something quick i haven't made corned beef in a long time but it was so easy to make got my plantains my rice and i am set yum 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 all right so here are the mom cozy pumps i pumped with them for 30 minutes and i barely got anything y'all i got less than an ounce half an ounce on the right boob and I got what did I get a little less than an ounce on the left for 30 minutes what I like about these pumps is that you can use an app through bluetooth to control it um, but other than that I don't really like the suction of it I don't like I just don't like it that much I just like that feature of the bluetooth and that's it uh, so I'm gonna have to go back on the big pump. Hi, KK. Hi, fat man. Hi, fat man. Hi. Say goodnight. I talk, talk for the people. <laughs> Good night. Hi, <laughs> night. <laughs> I can't believe this Makai is latching. That's why I don't be giving up. My night is made. Hey you guys, so it is the next day and I just got done with my three months postpartum OBGYN appointment and it was one that I really needed. It gave me some peace of mind. I was very, very nervous 
um, because I was having some issues, like I told you guys before with the whole prolapse thing. At least that's what I thought. And she confirmed it. She said it was like a mild one, but it's normal. Even if I didn't experience that constipation while pregnant, she said that a lot of women, more than I think, have a prolapse after giving birth, especially when they have like a bigger baby or multiple pregnancies. Mila was like six pounds and change and then Makai was 7'11". They're not so big, but I guess because it's multiple pregnancies and she said it's going to correct itself over time. Just give myself grace. That's what I've been missing. Grace. I have not been giving myself grace, you guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm like so hard on myself. With Mila, I snapped back so quickly that I just thought it was going to be the same. I don't know why. I am a very seasoned mom now, but I only had one kid before, so I didn't really know what to expect and everyone's different. Everyone's different. Everyone's different. Like, I have to keep reminding myself, all the JJs are different. All human beings are different. We have similarities we can be relatable but we're all different so i need to give myself grace she said that everything looks great <laughs> um and that it's just a mild prolapse and she made me do a kegel tmi and she said my grass was really good really really good she said after a year if i'm still feeling the same then we could talk about a consultation because i'm like am i gonna need surgery and she's like no <laughs> she said to just focus on the babies and you know take my time and when I'm ready to lose weight or whatever I feel like I'm so hard on myself I am hard on myself because I'm talking about I want to get dressed up I want to fix myself up I feel like I'm not really like listen being a mom of two just being a mom overall I'm trying to force myself to do so many things that I need to just take my time and I told her like my milk is kind of like starting to go down a little and she was like because the baby's not latching and I'm like dang so I'm gonna try to get Makai to latch some more. As you can see last night, he's surprisingly latched, but it only lasts like 30 seconds and then he was over it. He literally is just not with it. He wants the milk to come down and my milk doesn't come down that fast. Like it has to take time after some stimulation, it comes down. He's stimulating it and then he's over it. I'm actually waiting to go into my eye exam. I have another appointment. I'm tired now. I didn't really get to eat. I should go and walk and get something to eat. I have another hour, but I feel a little lazy. And I think it's because I didn't eat because I pumped in the morning. And I got 30. I got three ounces this morning off of a 30 minute, a 40 minute pump because I had to cut it short because I had to go. I put these little clips in to keep my hair out my way. And now I feel like I just look like a little girl. I don't like it. I just always have an issue with myself. I can never win. Ah, I'll be like my own worst enemy. I need to go walk and get something to eat though, but I don't feel like interacting. I just feel tired. Yeah, so I decided to come outside the car and I feel so like faintish. I don't know why. I just feel like weak. And I, matter of fact, maybe because I'm hungry. So I'm on Queens Boulevard. I don't know what to get. There's just so many options. And then there's the Shake Shack over here. Oh, Sephora. Stay focused. Let's see what's in this coffee place. with the goods so i went to the coffee spot that's what it's called and i got an egg salad sandwich i don't know if you could see that oh gosh this new camera business you see it yeah they have an instagram and all of that um it's very aesthetic in there Ooh, and the tomato let me show y'all real quick this is it and then they put the tomato on the side the tomato is seasoned with black and black pepper and so it looks like and this is it, egg salad with arugula. It was $13 for this. I have no clue how it tastes, no clue. And then I got this water that was $5, yeah, $5. Because the bottle is so freaking cute. It's a glass bottle and it says antipods. Oh, it says natural artisan water. It's 16.9 um, ounce, but it's so freaking cute. My goodness, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, that's black pepper and salt. The tomato smells so fresh. That's why my face looks like that. Oh my goodness. All right. So this is a cold, cold egg salad sandwich. Y'all gonna think I'm weird, but I normally like my egg salad sandwiches warm. This is good. It's really cold though. They gave me a fork. 
and a knife. But what do I need that for? Right? What do I need that for? I feel like the, the one hour lunch guy that eats his food and reviews it in the car. Mm. They ain't give me no tissue. Hold on. I know y'all probably can't take me seriously like this, right? <laughs> The croissant is very flaky, nice, and it, it tastes good with the tomatoes. So I'm just gonna pour the tomatoes on top. I'm, I'm a girl, I don't like tomatoes, but this is good. It's just so cold. Now let's see why they give you the fork. It's spilling out. This is good. Mm-hmm. Eat the tomato and the egg. The tomato is so fresh. Yeah, I remember how I was saying that, the, you know, I have to get used to the camera. I still gotta get used to it. It takes really good photos though. My last camera, the one that broke, didn't take really good photos. I'm full. I'll keep called to check on me. Cause I've been without them for like two and a half hours now. And my car was crying for me. Let's try this $5 water. What the heck? <laughs> the heck? All on there, all on there. No sir. I can't get it open. What the hell? What is this made out of? Is it a... Oh, hell no. Hold on. Yeah, it literally took me a minute to open this. It's tight. I'm gonna go hold you. This water tastes good. Like, it tastes mad fresh. Now I see why it's $5 water. Hold on there. There's no lie. This is about the freshest water I've drank. Well, I'm about to go into my appointment. Wish me luck. 